Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Tactics Ogre Reborn. And uh, yeah, in the last one, uh, Kashua died. She killed herself rather than become a tool of anybody ever again. So it's kind of sad that she uh, thought that's what we were going to do. In a way, it's kind of true, but not really. So it, it is unfortunate still. Now, I did do some research um, to find out if I wanted to go back in time and make Kachua alive again. And we're not going to be doing it. And the reason is, is that uh, there, there are these things called codas that are some old DLCs that came out for the PSP version of Let Us Cling Together um, that this game is based off of. And th there were four chapters, and they have to be done in order. And apparently in the second chapter, you have to go through um, pretty much all of Palace of the Dead, which is a 100 floor dungeon. And I will not be doing that. So since that is required for you to get from Coda 2 to Coda 3, Coda 3 is the one that requires Kachua to be alive. Therefore, since I'm never going to do that content because I'm not going to do Palace of the Dead, um, there's no reason for me to go back in time. So, um, yeah, we're going to be, we're probably going to do Coda 1, but that's about it. Because that one we can, we can actually do and not, you know, hate ourselves for it. <laughs> Um, 100 Floors of Palace of the Dead sounds like my personal hell, so as much as I love this game, um, a dungeon crawl like that does not sound fun to me, even in the slightest. So, you know I'm a story guy, and, uh, I don't want to have to go 85 floors before I get the next piece of story in Palace of the Dead, you know? So, we won't be bothering with that. But let's continue on. We will be doing all of the main routes, though, of the story. Don't you worry about that. Sadly. We were unable to save the Princess Vesalia. I lacked the strength. The failure is mine. Forgive me. But do not forgive the Dark Knights. They abandoned the Princess when they realized their own defeat was inevitable. I tried to persuade her to our cause, but the Dark Knights had sown deep the seeds of doubt and fear. She took her own life. It is for her that we fight as well. We're ready to march, my lord. Just give us the word. Good. We move against the Bakram and the Dark Knights with everything we have. The final battle awaits. Onward to Heim! You did well. Tire of this theater. Do not say that. You must bring this war to an end. If that means enduring a little theater, I think it a fair price. I watched as my sister died. Was that part of the price as well? You must push such thoughts from your mind. Naught will come of it. Right or wrong, let history be the judge. Now you must focus on the task at hand, Denim. Man, tough love Maruva over here. You received a Sovereign's Mark. Now, let's see. Did they only give us one of those? Sovereign's Mark. Where is that? Hello? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Right? To those it deems worthy of carrying on the mantle of Valerian rule, their power is largely a factor of their past achievements. They gave us five of these. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna save before doing this. So apparently what this is, is, is it's a uh, unique class for Denim. Um, and it has a whole bunch of um, abilities that it can use from multiple classes. The thing that I don't know about Reborn is whether or not we have to actually have classed into that class before at a certain level. So for instance, we started off the game as a knight, right? We did some knight stuff, and then we have been a rune fencer for the most part. But what I'm wondering is if we'll only have the skills to where we left knight, or if we need to class into knight again at a high level um, to reap the most benefits. So, let's just go ahead and test this out. We've saved. 
We're gonna go in here. I'm gonna change class to Lord. All right. And look at that, Phalanx. Rampart Shadow, Sanctuary, Siege, Rampart Aura. Is that all the same stuff that any of our knights would have had at this point? So Siege, one level. Um, let's see, the Rampart Aura, Phalanx 2. Now our current knights, what do they have? Um, Fulkert I think is still a knight. He's like the only one, but he is a level 45. So they have Phalanx 3. Now it may be the case that um, Lord doesn't get access to Phalanx 3. But now what I want to do is test that out. So we're going to load. Tactics Ogre. And now what we're going to do is we're going to class him into Lord. Or not Lord, into Knight. Rampart, level two. Phalanx three, Guardian Force. Okay, so let's see if we can now get Phalanx three and Rampart Aura two. Those will be our, our ones to look at to see if that made any difference for us. It absolutely did. So it does matter. Okay. So with that information, I need to find out if there are other classes that he can learn abilities from, and if so, then I need to class him into every single one of them, and then bring him into Lord class. Um, so give me a second while I look that up, and figure out what skills can be inherited by the Lord class. Okay. So on the uh, fandom wiki, Abilities. The Lord is able to equip all abilities in the game except Sanctuary. However, he cannot learn them in this class. So, we basically need to put him into every single class that we have access to. There might be some overlap, but just to be safe. Um, you know, like, I'm not sure if necessarily we need to do Wizard and Warlock for him, but we may as well do it anyway. Um, yeah. So let's see, the only ones that we only have one of is Rune, Archer, and Warrior. We'll just buy some more of those. Um, we don't even need the Rune one, but just to have it on hand, we may as well have more than one, I guess. Um, okay, shop. Good day. Um, let's see, where do you buy class marks? It's here, right? Okay. So in this game, you don't even have to train him, because all we got to do is move him into it, and he'll learn everything that a level 45, you know, can learn at any of these. So, technically, I think that the level cap goes up from here. I think 50 might be the cap, the actual cap, but I'm not sure when you get that. It might be after one of the codas, um, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. We're just going to put him into every single class. We should be able to do lots of different things with him. Some of which may be less useful than others. But.
I forgot that denim can become a buccaneer. I think him and, um... I think he's the only other person in the game who can, right? That is so crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. Hey, you know what? This might remove our need for, um, for a Dragoon. Because you're going to have all the Dragoon stuff. What a crazy class, dude. And can, you can now use, yep, things like Thunderburst. Oh, whoops. I'm, I pushed the wrong one. I actually don't know if you can use Thunderburst. No, wait, maybe. There isn't one in the inventory. Okay, Cashua, drop that for a second. Um, can I just remove? What's the button for remove? I don't remember. Sure, do that for a sec. You can use it. Cool. Alright, we'll give that back to you, because that's your affinity. Interesting. Now, I didn't compare stats, which I probably should have done between Rune Fencer and this, but that's okay. Strength 191, Vitality 200, uh, and our Int, Mind, and Res seem also to be not too bad. I mean, compared to Kachua, pretty damn far off, but for somebody who's not magic based. Damn, she's got 250 Int. She's crazy, dude. Okay, the numbers really aren't that impressive on the magic side when it comes down to it. But that can be helped a little bit with some other things if we really wanted to. Um, but yeah, what is going to be the most useful for you? Also, did it change your affinity or... Because I could have sworn you had a different affinity. if I should make you a light affinity. I still want Boon of Swiftness on you. Spirit Surge, you have access to Judgment now. We wanted to do that. Then we could do an Ease. Or we could choose to do something completely different. And you, you can't use these. You can't use ninjutsu. You can use the skills, which is nice. Just not the spells. Let's see. Since you don't have the magic attack, I don't think I'm going to take, like, these ones from anybody to give to him, because they're just going to be better on actual mages. It's either ease or giving you something here in 
Dark Affinity. Which... Paradigm Shift is useful, but I feel like Denim isn't the one that's going to be using Paradigm Shift ever, so probably not going to use that. You know what else would work? The uh, Instill Light. To make your light stuff stronger, especially since you're not as good at it. That could be pretty good. that strength to a nice round 200. How about that? Okay, that must have been unequipped because of one of the last classes that we had on was Buccaneer, I think. So yeah, that makes sense. Just put on something that he could actually hold. Back to your heater shield. Oh no, we want that one. The plus one. There we go. swords. That's definitely going to be there. Gosh, we can give him a lot. Like, he's got every option now. This is nuts. What a cool class. Frighten enemies? Like, that could be awesome. Um, I still think I want... Um, oh my gosh, things like Evade. I really like this as well. Conserve MP has been very, very useful. Especially for, like, popping on Buna Swiftness and shit, but, like... Maybe with this class, it's not the best one. Quick into the caster. Now, which one's better between these? Nullify to the caster line to completely avoid the next physical attack. And this one... Up to three. So that one's just, like, better. That's better than evade. You got access to Mother's Mercy, Double Impact. magic effects until the next attack turn. You've got Falling Blade, Smoke Screen. All 
All right, maybe we'll try that out. Evade for physical, evade for magic, and Lament of the Dead, which is basically just an AoE that makes people less defensive. Yeah, this class is wild. Very excited about this. All right. Don't think there's anything else out in the world that we really need to do, so... So in this case, if I really wanted to... I'm going to take that, and I'm going to add Beast Slayer. Forget the Dragoon, man. Last time Denim showed his face, better men than him have died trying to cross your rooms a canyon. His bones will join the rest. Meditates, guys. There's one. Between one of these episodes, I may do a gear audit. There might be some options that I've been ignoring for a while for upgrading gear. Yeah, maybe I should try and fit in a meditate on him as well. But uh, I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see how he feels. Like. If he if, if it feels like he's just not gaining enough because he has access to a much better meditate than he did even in his other class but he probably still does need it I don't think about that but yeah he probably does
You guys gotta meditate. For real, my team is not acting today. Oh, I could have done that. Oh, never mind. Okay, next turn we'll have a Beast Slayer. Access to all the cards. Fuck's sake, dude. Got a little payback. You can take 164. I swear to God.
Come on, stay alive, bro. I think I'm gonna have to let Lobane go down. Okay, you made it. Honestly, they're doing a great job of doing a lot of damage to me. They've got a lot of good AoE options. See, is this the guy we have to get? Most likely. It looks like he has a bunch of cards, so... Oh no, it's the guy back there, isn't it? It's probably you. Yeah, I think it's Stenoska. This guy's just been picking shit up. Um, am I gonna sacrifice you? You're taking this hit a lot better than I was expecting. I think that the stats of the enemies are finally catching up. Even even with the level scaling, all, a lot of the fights before were uh, a lot easier, but I think it's starting to catch up with us now. Might have to start playing the long game a little bit more again. Four.
Good God. Come on, bro. Really? Another two for one, I'll take it. That's also rude. Can you guys not? Goodbye. Done in by Wallace to dogs. Okay, we'll keep the same setup, I think. Um, let's consider... Do we really need the Beast Slayer, first off? Um, I do want Meditate. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try that instead of Lament the Dead for now.
Listen well. This town is the last before they reach the royal city herself. Should they reach her, they will plunder her stores and slaughter our families. If you find yourself wavering in the coming battle, let thoughts of that rekindle your flame. I love that ability.
Denim raining down judgment upon them. Damn, this guy's you're taking a beating right now. This isn't okay. Okay, well, the boss is getting kind of close to us. So we might be able to just go after him here in a minute. this. Where are you in the turn order? Damn, dude. I might be throwing him to the wolves if I do this. He's already hurting me. God, 
God, I hate knights. So tanky. Okay, and right there, we're going to end this episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Bracken, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, Andy Ford, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.